Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So we're going to see what's going on for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you, link to the Etsy shop is in the description box below. And don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees for you. All right, Gemini. Okay. We have the world. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Three of Swords. Some of you have found yourselves newly single, which is why this Three of Swords is here. So you're beginning a new cycle. Some of you may actually be moving. But I feel like if you're ending a relationship, this was karmic. This has taken a lot of strength. But Gemini, I feel like there's huge expansion coming from wherever you're coming from and let's see where you're headed with the world card shall we where's gemini going nine of wands okay so you're the wounded warrior here right you're not giving up on love which is awesome so yes your heart is broken but great expansion comes from broken hearts right Queen of Pentacles. It's funny. We never think so in the moment, but there's always a blessing within the brokenness, right? We never know that or realize that, shall I say, until sometimes years down the road, right? Sometimes we get it pretty immediately. Other times, most of the time, we don't see it until years down the road. And it's like, ah, that's why that happened. I wouldn't be here if that didn't happen, right? All right, so the Queen of Pentacles, you're headed to the creation of the world that you want for yourself. You're pretty excited about it, Gemini. You're pretty excited about it with the Page of Wands. I feel like you're gonna be receiving some good news. Now this could be communication about a job which will prompt this move. And it doesn't have to be across the country. It doesn't even have to be in another state. It could just be just a move. Or if you're not moving, it's like your life is brand new. You're creating a whole new life. And that excites you. I'm getting this excitement from the Queen of Pentacles because when the Queen of Pentacles, right, I feel like this is you. The Queen of Pentacles creates, you may have Capricorn in your chart or Taurus or Virgo. She does so, she or he from the heart. And you can always feel that creation when you witness it. Whether this be a painting, whether this be decorating a room, decorating a home, whether this be lawn care on the outside, it could be anything, right? Anything. But you always feel a piece of that queen. Now this, again, male or female, it's just feminine energy. It's that creative energy, that creative flow. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. You're feeling pretty confident about creating this new world for yourself. Ace of Cups. You're pretty, there, okay. Whatever you're creating here has something to do with your creativity. So you could be taking something you've always wanted to do and making money from it. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups here. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, I'm getting that you're giving back a piece of yourself. 
with this creativity. So again, I don't know why I'm getting painting. Some of you may paint. But it's like when you create, we're just going to take a painting because that's what I'm getting. When you create this painting, you are the painting. It's like you become one with this painting. And this is how you give back to the world. Because this piece of you, Gemini, is going to carry on. Is going to carry on. It doesn't, there is no ending to this piece that you offer. Right? It's not like... It's not like you're donating $10 and then it's gone, right? It's you're donating a piece of yourself, okay? And that tangibility can only be felt from within. It can only be touched from within. And that is priceless. You can't put a price on that, right? And that's what you are, Gemini, priceless. Knight of Wands. You Did I say you were excited? I'm going to say it again. Because the Knight of Wands here, you could also have fire in your chart. I'm getting like such Sagittarian energy. You're really finding your balance here. Because Sagittarius is the opposite of you, Gemini. And what I'm getting with that, with this Knight of Wands, is it's like finally. That's what I'm feeling from you. Finally, I can find my balance. I can express who I am. I don't know if whoever you were with was in constant judgment of who you were. And now you're finding a freedom in this expression. And I know exactly what you mean, Gemini. You can be who you want. You don't have to answer to anybody. Nobody. Right? There is such freedom with that. And when you're able to find somebody who allows you the same freedom as you are going to begin to appreciate what you're going to give yourself, that too is priceless. And I feel like you're going to have a true understanding of what this freedom is. Okay. Because it's true, Gemini, like, I did not appreciate what freedom truly means okay until i began to experience it for myself and began creating well, i'm still creating we're always creating my own world because i was not you know i i never got that chance when i was younger so it's only been in the last couple of years where i've actually had the freedom to be who i am without judgment of anybody uh, well, nobody's judgment matters to me, right? This is where I figured out the only thing that matters is what I think of me. And that's the only thing that should matter to you, Gemini. Because therein lies the freedom. If you allow others' opinions of you, okay, to halt the expression of you, you're not shining your light. You're allowing others to dim that light. Don't allow others to dim that light. Tell me about the strength card. Let's see? I got a love spirit. You got a love spirit. I just said, don't allow others to dim your light. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're not going to be allowing anybody to have any say in your expression of you. All right. Good for you, Gemini. I love that. I love that. And I feel like because of this, the next partner you're going to attract is going to, oh my God, it's going to be electric. That's what I'm feeling. Because your light's going to be shining bright. Their light's going to be shining bright. Hang on, I just dropped a card. I got to go get it. Oh, 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 Gemini. And we have the devil. So if you combine the devil and the sun in the strength card, you are not allowing toxic people in your world to dim your light. You're not allowing the toxicity any longer. This is going to take strength because maybe this was, not maybe, this was a pattern of behavior that you're changing, right? You're not allowing them to do this no any longer. Nope. 
Gemini. And this is bringing you love. I can feel it. This is going to bring somebody that's going to shine just as bright as you. And when you put these two lights together, you and them, oh my God. An explosion of beauty. An explosion of magical lights. It's like, uh, like what they're showing me right now is like this magical light show. Like, uh... I'd say fireworks, but it's, it's, it's beyond that. I'm not quite sure what they're showing me here, but it, that's, that's what it looks like. A magical light show. Like if you, okay, what they're showing me looks like if you were to look at the sky and the sky was filled with all these stars and all the stars were dancing and just having fun and beaming their lights. That's kind of what they're showing me here. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. They're going to be jealous, which is why they want to dim your light. They can't stand you shining bright. Maybe they don't feel like you deserve it, I'm getting, right? Like, why you, Gemini? And what I would say is, why not? Right? Five of Swords, Five of Wands. You may come into, well, not you may, you will. You're going to come into some conflict here with these people. This may be family. This may be friends. I don't know who these people are, but it's more than one. I feel like it's a group. So tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. This is what you're utilizing for your strength. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. When I was speaking in the beginning of the blessing, right, within the brokenness, this is exactly what you discover. So you got you to gotta thank these people for it. <laughs> Truly, you got to thank them for it. The fool. You're taking that leap of faith. You don't give a shit what, it, what they say. You don't care. Nope. Six of Swords, you're moving on. You could literally be moving as well. This is an offer you can't refuse here, Gemini. This is an offer you won't refuse. Nope. And you're pretty freaking happy about it. You're going to be allowed to be creative. You're going to be allowed to do what you love and shine your light as much as you want to. Shine your light the brightest that you've ever shined before. I don't think you've hit this level before. I feel like, Gemini, you, you guys have held yourself back. You guys have held yourself back. Now, now you're setting yourself free. The Magician. I swear, Gemini, I think the last three readings, this is the card that came out, the last card of the of the four cards that I pull, because I pull four, and then I'll pull three more on each row. And this is the last of the fourth row. Your card has always come out in the last card. If you look back on the last couple of readings, if my memory serves me correctly, you are going to manifest your dreams. Wow. And these, just know that their attempt to keep you down and their attempt to dim your light is because of jealousy. They're not going to admit it, but it's because of jealousy. All right, so advice. Shine bright. The star, Gemini, shine bright. Don't ignore this opportunity. Okay, don't look the other way. Don't look the other way. And don't feel like, or let these, what I'm getting here is guilt, like disappointment. You may go through these, a plethora of feelings, right? Oh my God, I'm going to disappoint them, whoever them is, right? Don't, don't do that to yourself. Shine bright. 
Keep shining. What do you want, Gemini? What's going to make you happy? Not everybody else. Not everybody else. You know, which always astounds me. You know, it's like, well, what about us? What about it? Isn't that selfish? I don't know. That's for another video. But King of Cups, listen to your intuition here, Gemini. Because this is all leading you to an abundance of everything here. Oh, oh my gosh. This was like just flipped over in the deck as I was shuffling. Evolve. Creative ideas evolve out of the invisible and profound nothingness of proverbial consciousness. Yes, I love that. And this nothingness, Gemini, what you're experiencing, this nothingness, is the freedom. That's the freedom for you. This nothingness. And within that nothingness, you're pulling a rabbit out of your ass, Gemini. You're creating something spectacular. Change. For a change, do something you usually do a certain way in a different way. And you are about to do a lot of things in a different way. I feel like they want you to get in this mode and get ready for things to change. All right, Gemini, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Gemini, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.